Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making Impossible Meatloaf. So for this recipe, you just need one package of Impossible Meat and a half a package or four ounces of mushrooms diced up very small. So we're gonna go ahead and get to this recipe. Do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. Please share any videos that you like. And of course, hit your notification bell so that you know when we upload new material. All right, so for the recipe, we're going to start with one package of Impossible Meat. Of course, you can do more than that. Um, I only had one package available. So we're gonna use what I have. And I have already chopped up my onions. So I'm using um, just enough onion to what I like um, and four ounces of mushrooms. Actually, I think I'm only gonna use half of this. So let's do two ounces of mushrooms because I only have one thing of meat. So the mushrooms um, can help make it a little bit juicier. And we're going to do a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. We're gonna add in one teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, We're gonna add a teaspoon of sage. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Hopefully I said that correctly. And a teaspoon of liquid smoke and two tablespoons of ketchup. And here comes the gross part. Gotta get my hands involved. I would love to stir this up, but it typically doesn't mix well. Okay, so I'm gonna set that for just a moment and prepare my baking pan. You're gonna preheat your oven to 400 and you're baking for about 20 to 25, 20 to 25 minutes. So for my baking pan, what I'm doing is I'm gonna use my little oven that I have and I'm just gonna use the foil on one of the baking pans that it goes in because my meatloaf is not gonna be that big. So I'm not gonna worry about using the, um, roaster pan and I'm just going to spray the bottom of this and I'm just going to shape my meatloaf and hopefully it will cook up right so this is my first time experimenting with this recipe um I have made meatloaf in the past with the mushrooms in it um but that was when I was eating turkey meat since I no longer eat um you know, animal based products. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but I am hoping that it will turn out pretty good. I hope it holds, it looks like it's gonna to hold together, but we'll see how everything cooks up. So this is gonna be an awfully tiny little meatloaf, but there aren't that many people that will probably eat it. I know out of my house, there's only three of us that will probably eat this, so. <laughs> That will actually. I want to try it. I want to actually try eating it. Well, if you're going to try to eat it, you can try a piece. I will never tell you you can't, but I just know how you do. <laughs> All right, so that's my little tiny meatloaf. So my recommendation would be if you're making this for um, a family, actually a family of four like we are or more, I would get two packages. We only had the one, so that's what we went with. Um, or if you're a person that really enjoys meatloaf, then double the recipe up. But we will um, see how this turns out. So I'm gonna put this in the oven on 400 and then we will take it out and check it out. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup on top here. You can, you know, add some things to that, like barbecue sauce if you want. This is hot. Um, but I'm just gonna do the ketchup on top. Mom, can I rub it? And I've cooked this for about half of the time. 
So it's browning nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back in the oven for a few more minutes. Mommy, can I rub it? All right, so I just took this out and we're gonna cut it to, I'm gonna cut it in the middle. Let to see how it held together. Oh, good. So it is actually it held up together very well. Let's see. So that's what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna cut just a little bitty piece, see what it tastes like. Mmm, tastes good. All right, so we're gonna get Marlon's opinion on the Impossible Meatloaf. Now, I've never made this. Mmm, it's really good. What I can taste um, are the mushrooms. Mm-hmm. And it, the flavoring is really good. Anytime you add mushrooms or something, it makes it better. So in comparison to what we've done in the past using regular meat or the turkey, how, oh, sorry guys. Uh, using the regular meats or the turkey, how does this compare using the impossible meat? Do you notice like a huge difference or not? Um. I really can't remember just because it's been so long, but I don't think anyone would be disappointed. Okay. So definitely one people should try. Absolutely. Yeah. I approve this message. All right. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. So that way you can be updated when anytime we have a new video. And uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, God bless.